Hey guys, it's Danny, and I don't know if you've noticed or not, but turmeric has been all the rage, and with good reason. It has super powerful anti-inflammatory qualities that really promote health and healing, and the best part is it is absolutely delicious. So I'm always trying to find delicious new ways to work it into the kitchen, and today I'm sharing one of my new favorites, a baked turmeric lemon chicken drumstick. Now, this dish is great for lunch or dinner. It makes amazing leftovers, hello meal prep. And it's also perfect for a barbecue or a cookout because you can make it ahead of time and it's delicious at room temperature. So can I please get a thumbs up for delicious, healthy, and easy? Now, the chicken that I'm using today is from ButcherBox. Now, you guys have heard me talk about them before. It's a monthly subscription box that delivers um, grass-fed and finished beef, organic free-range chicken, and heritage breed pork right to your door. And this is currently where I'm getting most of my meat from because I think it's really great quality and I really like the convenience. And right now they are offering a special deal to the Clean and Delicious community. If any of you guys are interested in checking them out, when you order your first box, you will get three packs of free bacon with your order. And all you have to do is use the link that I'm leaving down in the description box below. So if you click on that link, you can go check out all the details. Now, I love to use drumsticks for this recipe because A, they are inexpensive, and B, they're very family friendly. I don't know what it is about drumsticks, but my kids are always very excited to eat them. I think it's because they kind of like come on a stick. But you could easily also make this chicken with some chicken breast or some chicken thighs. So I start by preheating my oven at 350 degrees, and then I prep the drumsticks. Now, I like to remove the skin from the drumsticks. I have tested this several times, and I really find that because it's dark meat, the meat stays just as juicy and tender with or without the skin. So I like to take it off just to lighten the recipe up a little bit. Plus, because I'm baking the chicken, that skin doesn't really get very crispy anyway, and what's the point of eating chicken skin if it's not gonna be crispy and salty? You know what I'm saying? So here's what I like to do. I usually just take a kitchen shear, AKA a kitchen scissor, and I cut the skin off. Then I just pull it off around and then trim the bottom. Now this little bit of skin left around the bone at the bottom, I find really tricky to get off. So I usually just leave it on. It's just a little bit and it doesn't bother me whatsoever. And I'm just gonna continue that until I've gone through all of the drumsticks. I have three pounds. From here, I'm gonna prepare the marinade. Now, as you guys know, I love using these spouted glass cups because it has the measurements right on the side. I can mix it right in the cup and it's easy to pour. So I'm gonna start with two tablespoons of avocado oil. Avocado is a very stable oil, so it's a good oil when you are baking or roasting. Then I have the zest from one lemon, two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice from that very same lemon, one tablespoon of honey, one tablespoon of crushed garlic, and two teaspoons of dried turmeric, which is going to give this marinade a bright yellow-orange color. Then I've got a teaspoon of kosher salt and some black pepper. Now, if this was not gonna be a family meal, I would also add a little bit of cayenne pepper to it because the cayenne and the turmeric really like each other. But since my kids are gonna be eating it, I didn't wanna make it too spicy. So I'm gonna just whisk this all together until I have all those flavors combined, and then I'll drizzle the marinade over the chicken drumsticks and gently massage it into each one. I just like to um, twist them around and make sure all parts of the chicken have a nice light coating of the marinade. Next, I have one onion that I've cut into wedges, and then I'm just gonna nestle that all around the chicken in the pan. This is gonna add a little extra flavor, plus they're yummy to eat once it's all cooked up, along with some fresh lemon wedges. Then I'm just gonna finish this off with one more sprinkle of salt and one more sprinkle of pepper and my secret ingredient, which is some cinnamon. I like to sprinkle a little cinnamon right over the top of the chicken because when the turmeric and the cinnamon come together, it really pops the dish. I tried this without the cinnamon and I found the cinnamon really took it to the next level. 
Now you may notice that it doesn't look like a ton of marinade in the pan, but trust me, it is all we need because once it starts to cook up, the juices from the onion and the lemon and the chicken all mix with the marinade and there is plenty to go around. Now from here, we have two choices. You could cover this up and marinate it in the fridge anywhere between two and 12 hours if you wanna get a little bit extra flavor. But if you do not have time for that, don't worry about it. You can take it straight to the oven right from here. So I am popping it into a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes or until that internal temperature has reached 165 degrees Fahrenheit and the juices are running clear. Now once the chicken is all done and ready to go, I like to take a spoon and just get some of those juices from the bottom of the pan and drizzle it over the top of the chicken. And then just give it a few minutes to cool until you can handle it and it's ready to serve. Now you could easily turn this into a main meal by serving it with some rice and a beautiful salad, or if you wanted to pack it up for meal prep, take that very same concept and put it in your containers for the week. Mmm, I love this chicken so much. It's very juicy and it's bright, but it also has the warmth of the turmeric and the cinnamon. There's definitely something about this flavor combination that makes it taste almost exotic. So when you guys try this one, make sure to come down to the comments below and let me know what you think. And don't forget, if you are interested in the convenience of having high quality meats, chicken, and or pork delivered right to your door, make sure that you check out the description box below for my link to ButcherBox. Because if it is something you're interested in, now would be a great time to take advantage of it because they are offering three packs of free bacon to anybody in the clean and delicious community who orders their first box. And of course, if you have any questions about that, leave it down in the comments below and I will make sure to get them answered. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees. I will see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. A baked turmeric lemon chicken dish. Chicken drumsticks. It's baked. Today I'm sharing one of my favorites. Baked chicken turmeric and lemon drumsticks. Now this